Yeah, I went to college actually for architecture, and I only picked architecture because when I was 16, my aunt was on her deathbed. She asked what I was gonna do to make the family proud. I just got nervous. I said architecture, and then she lived, and they never forgot. So, 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 and I knew I wanted to do comedy. So freshman year, our, worth our entire grade, we had to design a building where on the ground floor was retail space and the top floor were apartments. So I wanted to do stand-up. My idea was a store where you rent old people for parties. And <laughs> then they live in the apartments above. It's like a work stay. Uh, <laughs> So I go to hand in my drawings at the end of the semester. My professor goes, you don't hand them in, you hang them up. Everyone does a project presentation in front of the whole class of visiting architect and the dean. And I was like, that is a curveball. Uh, really? Okay. Uh. So the presentation starts and I went last. So I'm just watching my classmates kill and I am laughing because nobody knows what I'm about to do. But I do and things will be different. So they finally, they call my name and I had done zero public speaking at the time. You know when you're driving, you get pulled over by a cop, you're just nervous, so you just tell them everything you've ever done in your life. That's what I did with this project. At one point I went, here's where we weigh the old people for pricing. They're vegetables, that's how we treat them. That is a direct quote. Uh, and then the apartment part was unfinished, nothing was labeled. At one point I just said, I think I'll make that area a wrestling ring. Too early to tell right now. So when I got done, everybody is just looking at me and it kind of hits me in that moment. I'm like, I think I just failed college. And it's probably over for me. So then no one says a word. The visiting architect walks up to the drawings. He looks back at me, he looks to the class and he just goes, Anthony, I just don't think it's a good idea to put the bedroom so close to the wrestling ring. <laughs> And then he said, because it's going to bother the old people when they're trying to sleep. And I was like, he's funnier than me. I do not think so.